Hi class, I hope that you're all doing well at home. Uh, today we are going to read a book called Charlie Cook's Favorite Book and the author is Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Are we ready to read? All right. So we have lots of books. We have Shiver Me Timbers about pirates. Who likes to read books by pirates? Very nice. Then we have fairy tales, a book about animals, a journal about knights, so people who fight, a country childhood, um, improving stories by wicked thieves, oh, my first encyclopedia. So in encyclopedias, you'll learn facts about different things. And then out of this world. So I want you right now to think about what type of books do you like to read? I like to read fairy tales. And we'll talk more about what books you like to read on our video call. Once upon a time, there was a baby called Charlie Cook. He curled up in a cozy chair and read his favorite book. So here's Charlie curled up in his chair. Shiver me timbers! The story of an old sea dog about a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a private chef who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chef swam to an island and went digging with his hook and at last found a treasure chest and in it was a book. So leaky our ship is getting water in it, and then it's going all the way to the bottom. Here we have the plank. It's what pirates would make people walk down and jump off when they were angry at them. Fairy tales from a forgotten island about a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried who had our porridge? Who's been sitting on our chairs? They went into the bedroom and Baby Bear said, Look, she's in my bed. And what is more, she's got my favorite book. Which book do you think is going to be Goldilocks's favorite? About Sir Percy Pillington, a bold and fearless knight, who told the dragon, oh, wait, I'm not quite ready for the fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armor clanked and shook. Ho, ho, he, he. As he read aloud a joke he'd found inside. So armor is what knights wear. What book do you think will be the knight's favorite? Let's see. About Rowena read a lot, a very well-read frock, who jumped upon a lily pad and jumped upon a log then jumped into the library which stood beside the brook and went read it read it read it as she jumped upon a book what book do you think our frog jumped on let's see about an oak tree full of birds each built with a nest and then had a competition and decided which one was best. Which bird do you think is the best? 
I like owls. They chose an owl to judge it. And the winner was a rook, whose nest was lined with pages from his very favorite book. So here's the rook. What book pages do you think are here? About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it. They waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve. Look, Mom, what I've seen. But Mom said, hush, I'm trying to read my favorite magazine. What do you think is Mom's favorite magazine? about a wicked jewelry thief. So there's our thief who stole the king's best crown. Here's an ad. We have Dr. Foster's parenting goulashes. goulashes. I'm never going to goulash Chester without them, says a delightful Dr. Foster. So he's advertising shoes for good parents but then got stuck behind some sheep, which slowed his car right down. The king dialed 999, and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison where he read his favorite book. What do you think his favorite book is? And in the UK, where Mr. Paul is from, that's where they call 999 for an emergency. Here, if we want the police, we call 158. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with fish. Oh no, a crocodile who doesn't want to eat fish. And went online to try to find some new kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and he there grew even greedier, while reading on page 90, a large encyclopedia. What do you think he's learning about? About the biggest birthday cake the world's ever seen. Look how big it is. A team of royal cake maters had made it for the queen. The cake was so delicious that a famous spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter. He also took a book. What book do you think the spaceman took? About a ghost who glided round a castle every night, carrying her head and giving everyone a fright. Ah! She kept it up till morning, then she found a shady nook. So a nook is a little place to sit right here. And put her head back on again to read her favorite book. Oh no, look, she can take her head on and off. And what book do you think she's reading? About a cozy armchair and a boy named Charlie Cook. So it came all the way around. We have everyone in the room. So do you remember what story these people are from? Goldilocks and the Free Bears. And which one are these from? The girl who saw a spaceship. What about this picture? Where is she from? The last story, the headless nook. And... We have our knight from the night story. And who's this? The king and his thief. And we have our cake-eating astronaut and our hungry crocodile. Which story was your favorite? Are all of these stories new or have you heard some before? All right, I look forward to talking to you about this book on our next Skype session.
I hope everyone has a great day.